Can Bethesda still fix Fallout 76? Can they somehow recover from this disaster they have created for themselves? The issues of Fallout 76 have been discussed and pretty much beat into the ground at this point, and this video is really not meant to focus on those too much, but rather actually look at some of those issues and look at some of the potential solutions, or really question whether there are serious and plausible solutions. I would say as it stands right now, Fallout 76 is at a low point as far as community sentiment goes. We can't actually see the player count or how many the active users there are, but I would have to imagine it is at the lowest it has been ever since the game's release. There's two main reasons for that. A lot of people left because of the bugginess at certain points along the way, I would say that was a big reason. But more recently, I think people are just getting tired of the grind due to the constant nerfing, or they just kind of ran out of stuff to do. The game is three months old at this point, and we haven't gotten a single piece of new content, except in the form of microtransactions on the Atomic Shop, of course. And while reflecting and actually looking back on Fallout 7, I feel like I came to somewhat of a realization. It really feels like Fallout 76 and the studio behind it is an indie game. Maybe one of the indie studios on the larger side, but it feels like they're doing this for the first time, and as I've gone over in another video, they kind of are. Even though it's created by Bethesda Game Studios, it's just their Austin branch, which is one of the smaller and less experienced ones that they have. The studio technically has never created their own game, but now they have the task of maintaining Fallout 76 and all of its future content. And for me, it feels Feels like with the studio and Bethesda trying to fix the issues that do surround this game, they're taking like this frontier approach as if they're doing things for the very first time and nobody else has ever accomplished it. Like on launch when there were all those quality of life features missing and then even Bethesda's initial reluctance to actually add them in. No, most people and most gamers in 2018 like to have push to talk. That might be shocking to you, but that is a reality. Or even the bugginess of each additional update. While they're shipping bug fixes, they're also adding in several new bugs with that, and it's not like it's a one-time thing, it's happened several times now. Do you know how other game companies fix this? They have a test server. You get a bunch of free labor from your community and they volunteer to actually try and break the game for you. And then finally with their patch notes, it's basically a standard for every other game out there to give you a heads up when they're patching things. Like if a bunch of really big nerfs are going to ship, they typically tell you not the day of after the game servers have already been taken down for maintenance. To me, it almost feels like Bethesda was trying so hard to be different from the competition that they forgot to actually look at what the competition was doing right. A lot of the major issues and the things I just named I think had really obvious solutions to most people playing the game or just following its progress. But it seems like to Bethesda is this crazy new idea like, oh, you actually want to hear the reasoning behind why we're making certain changes? And I think this is even a solution they could use going forward. Just look at what other people in a similar situation have done. It's not like Fallout 76 is the first game to be massively disliked by the community, and other games have taken this and actually improved on it to actually grow over time. No Man's Sky is the example most often given. On release, it was horrible, but then two years later, in the summer of 2018, it had a resurgence, and in fact, got a ton of new players and a ton of positive review scores. How'd they do it? Well, they fixed all the bugs, hunkered down, and added a ton of content. I personally think people at Bethesda could be and really should be looking at the No Man's Sky situation and what happened with that. No Man's Sky on release got a lot of negative press and a lot of backlash. Fallout 76 might have had a little bit more negative press because it just kind of continued and continued even after the first month, but they're both in similar situations and people have a short memory, so they're going to probably forget half the stuff that went wrong with Fallout 76 anyway. But with No Man's Sky, even though it had so much negative backlash, people still eventually got over it. People went back to the game and hundreds of thousands of people played the game, many of them probably purchasing it for the first time. Ideally, Fall 76 would do this in a shorter period of time, not waiting two years, but the principle is still there. I don't think Fall 76 has had bad press beyond the point of repair. Maybe for some individual users it has, but I think overall if the community suddenly felt super positive towards the game and really loved the next DLC, they would play it or even some people would buy it, just like they did with No Man's Sky. But even further, it should indicate to Bethesda that just hunkering down and actually fixing all the bugs and then adding in a ton of good content is probably one of the solutions. My big question though is whether or not Bethesda can actually do this. If you actually look at how much they've done over the three months of this game being out, it's not that much. And even more recently, if you look at their latest Inside the Vault article, they literally showed two balance changes. That's all they had to say after this massive week of backlash and controversy, you'd think they'd have some kind of big response to really show to people, no, you're going to be okay, we're going to add a lot to this game. 
They've been talking about a roadmap coming up for over two weeks at this point, which is a staple of every other game as a service. Apex Legends showed everyone on release what their plans were. And to be frank, I have no doubt that users will come back. It's just how long will they actually stay? While a lot of the past Fallout's had a ton of replayability through the main story, giving you hours upon hours of enjoyment, in Fallout 76, that simply doesn't exist. As it stands right now, most people have done everything in the game and they're now waiting for the DLC. When the DLC comes out, how long is it going to take for everyone to do all of it. The core gameplay of Fallout 76 really suffers from a lack of replayability. This is one of the standouts of this game versus some of the previous ones. While in this game there might almost be the same amount of content, the amount of times you're actually going to want to play through it is severely limited when you take out things like dialogue choices or different branching story paths. If Bethesda simply releases a ton of DLC that's in a similar vein, I think the community at large will consume it very quickly and then be bored again and move on to another game. I think changing it up actually adding in interesting things is going to be the key here. I would say the PvP servers are without a doubt a very good first step. That's something that I think I will get hours of enjoyment out of. The problem with that is that you don't have a PvP audience. Every single Fallout game in the past was single player. There just isn't a community of people around this game that want to be fighting other players on a consistent basis. They want to be fighting other creatures with their friends by their side, which inherently tends to be way less dynamic and thus has a lot less replayability. So Bethesda trying to unlock that, figure out what they could do right there, again, by looking at other games, I think is the key. Although to be frank, we have no idea what the frequency of DLC releases will be. But I think right now, the writing's on the wall that they're not going to be quick. I think there's going to be long waits and the content itself might not be massive. Even just the fact that it's taking them a month and a half from the announcement to actually get out these PvP servers or this new survival mode. At the end of the day, they're only changing a couple aspects of the game with these new servers, and it seems astonishing to me that it's going to actually take as much time as it is. And I feel like this falls onto Bethesda as the larger company here. They have four different studios at this point, yet the one working on Fallout 76 seems woefully underpowered. I'm not sure if that's an experience issue or a manpower issue, but I think potentially taking off staff from some of the other studios to actually get Fallout 76 in a good state to make it so over time it becomes one of those games that actually ended up becoming pretty good, not just a black stain on the company's history or portfolio. But if anything, I feel like if you follow the latest and greatest around Fallout 76, it almost feels like the opposite is happening. That maybe they're just cutting their losses, assuming they even have any on this game, or going to move on and try and release their next game even sooner and just make it great. Which is kind of a shame, because Fallout 76 is going to be the last Fallout game for a very long time. And considering now, just three months after release, so many people are outright done with the game is kind of sad. So as to the question, can Bethesda still fix Fault 76, I certainly think the potential is there. I think there's a lot of different options and avenues they can go. I think right now, just adding in new content of any kind would be fun and interesting. It'll get more people involved and wanting to play. If the content's really good and has a ton of replayability, even better. I think one of the biggest problems is though the rate at which this content is released is probably going to be fairly slow. Exactly what happened with bug fixing the game, as three months later, we're still not in a bug for a game. I think one very easy solution to all of this would actually be mod support, but a part of me doesn't want that because it feels like it would almost be wrong or disingenuous for modders to again save a Bethesda game. But at the same time, I think a constant flow of new content through modding could really be a saving grace of Fallout 76. But even that, mods would pretty much invalidate Fallout 76's Atomic Shop in its entirety. The vast majority of stuff in that shop has higher quality alternatives for free on Fallout 4's Nexus right now. Bethesda definitely knows this, and I'd say that's one of the chief reasons reasons as to why modding is delayed or pushed back so much. Then previously mentioning at earliest November of 2019, a full year after the game's release. I have no doubt that when mods actually do end up getting released, there'll be kind of a resurgence around the game. I definitely will be way more interested in it and the modding scene, because getting to play Fallout mods in multiplayer should be really, really cool. But either way, if I was making a prediction as to the future of Fallout 76, unless there's some massive changes soon, I think it's just going to be one of those games that you pick up and download every once in a while when a cool DLC comes out, but otherwise will slowly dwindle into nothingness and just fade away. I think they're writing somewhat on the wall from Bethesda that they're moving on from this game. The rate at which we're getting microtransaction content versus actual game content, the length of some of their news updates as of late, the size of the actual game updates, which is really reflective of how many people are working on this game and even just how long it's actually taking for some of this future content to get released. To me, at least, it seems like Bethesda is very much in the, all right, we'll allow you guys to work on the game, but that's it. We're not going to dump a 
a ton of new money in, and if you fix it or figure it out, congrats. I don't even really blame Bethesda Game Studios Austin in this regard. It just kind of seems like they were left out there to dry. And hopefully their next one is a lot better. I have no doubt that it will be. But either way, those are my thoughts as to the question as to whether or not Fallout 76 can be fixed by Bethesda. If you guys enjoyed the content, you can leave a like or subscribe. But with that, I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Later.